Well, uh, we got our master hater, 50,000 BTU. The motor works good, basically you adjustments on it. This here's the input. And there's the air filter. I'm gonna take that, you take them two screws there off, pull this little cover here off, and you blow out the air filter. I'm gonna check that. This adjustment screws, this you pump. And uh, a lot in here. Hold on. They want to be in here. This right here, that's one where it goes in. This is fuel line. Fuel look. Hard to see. There you can't see it. That thing going into there and there's split. And also split where it goes into the fuel filter. See how dry I already split it is? I'm gonna change that, put a regular rubber gas line on it. This right here is your fuel filter. Of course it just pushes in and out, snaps in and out right there. Snaps in and out there. I ain't messing with the camera person, but see how this is dry rod split? Put far up. It's getting spark coming out of the spark igniter thing. It's sparking, so it should work. But it didn't get no fuel, all right? The reason why it's sucking air and it ain't get no fuel is that right there. So I'm going to get our hose, one of these things, and put it in there in the reverse way, which would be that way. Get our hose and this can put it in there. Blow it there on the long end to reverse it out and clean this little dude that you're out. Stick it in there and then I'm going to cut and paste this line here. This rubber lawnmower gas line, it'll work just as good for that. Stick it on there and it should be good to go. See my welding cart my nephew you got me there is it? Auto parts cart, we cut the lid off of it and made the wheel and cart work nice and good one. And we're just enjoying a good cool day, getting ready for winter here. Get a lot of time to do this. Here's a tiller, just a regular earthquake tiller. But I got a Polaris trailer mount for a prior four drill four holes in the plate bolt it up on there then I, it's got the you know where your reset slides in now right here reset well, I got a reset with the ball in it and then I got it I it upside down to a regular uh, Honda Rancher trailer mount it's upside down you why I do that well that gets it to the right angle that I hook it to my hitch on my forward. And that uh, pretty much now I'm like that. So weld that weld that all together there. Plus it's both two, so it's good to go. Right there. there you go. Porcupine handyman at it. Yeah man, I'll catch you later.